Do you want to know what scares me about One Piece Season 2? Do you? Do you? This thing. Holy Jesus. What the fuck is that? This isn't concept art for Season 2. Just to save you a heart attack, this is probably not what Chopper's going to look like. But what it is, is an artist's interpretation of what Chopper would look like in real life. And it is horrifying. And it gives us one of the problems of Season 2 is how the hell are they going to do Chopper? Now, if you don't know who Chopper is, you might be a little bit confused, especially after seeing that horrifying creature from before. Chopper is a cute little reindeer who joins the crew later down the line. Without spoiling too much, he's a cute little ball of fur when he's not a horrifying monster. So that's who Chopper is. This is one of a number of things that can make season two much harder to pull off than season one. I mean, don't get me wrong, Netflix can absolutely do Chopper right, but will they? If they do it like Detective Pikachu, I think that'll fit quite well. But just because they did season one right, doesn't mean they're going to get season two right. A studio making the right decision in the past and having a good track record does not mean we can rely on them to keep doing that. Look at Cyberpunk, look at Fallout 76. Now season two could cover a lot of arcs, including Logetown, Whiskey Peak, Little Garden. None of those worry me. What does worry me are two characters. The first one, obviously, being Chopper. Here's the problem. Even if you get base Chopper right, there are so many transformations that he does that are way crazier, and you have to get all of them right as well. They can get base Chopper right, and then they can mess up everywhere else. Some of his transformations are ridiculous. Growing enormous arms and horns, just becoming a giant, and sometimes he's just straight up a reindeer. Are they just going to have an actual trained reindeer alongside the cast for this one? I'm still not against The Rock playing Chopper. I think he could make a pretty good heavy point for Chopper. And for base Chopper, we can just go Detective Pikachu style. In season 1, they made a lot of changes to make it work as a live action. It's possible they might do this in Season 2 as well, and just remove all of his powers entirely. But that would suck. That would be way too much of a character change for Chopper. He's a talking reindeer. It's kind of his thing. At the same time, I understand it's a very difficult thing for them to do. So, Netflix CEO Greg Peters and Ted Sarando. Here is my solution that I'm giving to you out of the goodness of my heart. For base chopper, Detective Pikachu style, that's easy. Come on. Reindeer form? I know a guy in Scotland. He can hook you up. It's a mostly peaceful reindeer. It's calmed down quite a bit. And we were able to reattach the... Uh, previous owner's finger, so no problems there. Boom. Done. Heavy point. The Rock, obviously. Monster Chopper, you've already got the answer. Use the same technology you use for the Sea Kings. You're welcome, Netflix. I did say it was free, but I will be expecting millions in royalties. And if I don't receive them, well then you can expect a visit from my friend. But as I said earlier, there is one more character that worries me, and that man is Warple. This is the tyrant king of Drunk Kingdom, and the main antagonist for Chopper. This is a man that looks like this, and eats metal. It is going to be so easy to mess this guy up. Between this guy and Chopper, half the season 2's budget is probably going to go to Drum Kingdom. It wouldn't surprise me if the showrunner just said, screw it. They adopt a reindeer. They go to the store, they buy a reindeer as a pet. Get over it. They cut out Drum Kingdom, have none of that, save a lot of money, and that's it. I don't think Oda would allow that, but I can see them trying to pitch for it. And it will really make the meme of Chopper just being the Straw Hat's pet really come alive. But after taking my suggestion, because I'm sure the CEOs of Netflix are watching this video, they'll arrive at Alabaster, the Straw Hats, and The Rock, and then the most important arc of season two will begin. And this is where they can mess everything up. What's going to be really important in season two is the pacing. They're going through a lot of arcs. But if they try and rush through it, they're going to ruin all of it. And if they try and cram all of Alabaster, which is a huge arc, into one episode, I will, I will be, be furious. furious. Alabaster is big enough to be an entire season on its own. I don't think it needs to be, but it could be. Instead, what I think they should do is instead of making it eight episodes like season one, make it 10 or 12 episodes. Then they can fit in all of Alabaster in three or four episodes. And there is enough in there to warrant that. Any less and they might not be doing it justice. In the anime community, people have always said 
One Piece will never get a good anime adaptation. It is the hardest, most impossible anime to ever make into a live action. It can't be done because it is just too wacky. Just the sheer wackiness of it makes it impossible. Makes it, one of, it makes it one of the few major anime that could just never be done. And through some weird irony, it's the only one to get a good live action adaptation. And if they can do season two justice as well and prove that season one isn't just a, a fluke, this could open the door to a lot of new anime getting adaptations. Imagine a great adaptation of this level for Bleach or for Dragon Ball or for Naruto. I mean, it could be incredible and definitely something to look forward to.